But the other covenant is the, is the promise uh, of God to Abraham about Israel. Uh, blessings to Abraham for his life, the blessing of many descendants for Abraham, and then most of all, the guarantee of a specific piece of land forever. Genesis 15 and verse 18, God said, to your descendants, I will give this land. Now, this land includes modern-day Israel plus parts of Egypt and Syria and Lebanon and Iraq. Now, if God doesn't keep his promise to Israel, how do I know he'll keep his promise to me? That's right. So this is a high-stakes question. Now, I may not understand all the reasoning behind God's choice to use this little nation of Israel, but but he Israel, as you often say, Jimmy, is special to God by covenant. That's right. He's just made a covenant. That's right. And, and whether I understand it or not is immaterial and irrelevant. 